good morning. Still trying to get back into the flow of doing this. I haven't made one of these in some years. I realized yesterday's was a bit haphazard. So here's what's on the plan for today. I'm going to Reading Terminal Market to get breakfast. I'm in a Phyrexia sealed event at 11. Mm. I'm in Unknown Gavin Verhe event at 4. I think there's a plan for dinner. Amazing. And then there's some sort of party later tonight. That's what's down on paper. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Here's how today's starting. We had a plan to go get breakfast at Reading Terminal Market because everyone says all the food at Reading Terminal Market's amazing. So we had a plan to leave the lobby at 8.30. I was running late, as one does, as is the custom of my people, me. <laughs> uh, so I got down there at like 8.33 and the lobby was completely empty. So I assumed that I'd missed everyone and was like, well, all right, I'll catch up. So I, so I left. No, it was just Ben. He was also running late, and now I'm ahead of him, so he's he's catching up with me. So yeah, the day's off to a real organized start. There's gotta be someone here to get a coffee, right? This place is amazing. It just keeps going. God. Oh, have you never been in here? No. Oh yeah, it's a great time. Yeah, I've never. I've only been to Philly once, and it was years ago, and we were in a completely different part of town. All right, so now we're at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center, which is apparently advertising as a convention center, but is a big box, which is fine. I'm sure it's great on the inside, but literally, this is all I want to go for for like lunch and yeah. stuff when you're at the con. Like this is so much. This is spectacular. Oh, I saw a sign shaped like a coffee cup. An observation that I make without any further qualifications. At most of the small coffee shops in Victoria, a 12 ounce latte is the large option. Oh yeah. Most of the small ones. Most of like the small coffee shops, you get a 10 ounce or a 12 ounce latte. Yeah. That's it. Or an eight. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the small here. Yeah. Yeah. It goes 12, 16, 20, 24. 24 ounces. I get 24 ounce macchiato. <laughs> Did that just turn on automatically? It did. Okay. So this was on high recommendation from Trick. This is from Herschel's, the egg and cheese breakfast sandwich on rye with um, pastrami. He says he's bummed that they used to do it with brisket and they don't anymore, but brisket would be good. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. I thought it was funny that the guy was like, is Rye okay? Oh. And I'm like, yeah? Would it not be? Would you not, like, give me shit if I didn't want Rye? Yeah, I don't know. Well, what is the, what's the main thing? Rye. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I guess some people don't like it, so he just checks every time. He has, he has his both. Mm, He's yeah. like, you know, Rye okay? Like, yeah. Uh, no wonder bread, please. <laughs> Texas toast. When I was walking to get that Danish, there was another place that was just, they just had roasts. They just had giant, a pile of like just roast meats, each of them like the size of, of a small child. <laughs> just, they were huge. I, I like going in there because it's just, do you like consuming food? 
we got you. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I can't believe that's like right beside the convention center. What a boon for everybody. <laughs> win, 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 win. Update, breakfast was a success, and now I'm on a dinosaur. Day's going great. Got an hour before our first actual event. So I'll be up here for some of that time. This is profoundly uncomfortable. <laughs> this is a very hard seat. I love the, the Eric Moen skateboard from Strip Search is still still out there in the world. It's going for 750. It's not bad. So I made a point of bringing like all of my phonography nonsense on this trip, like all the all the lenses, all the all the gear. I don't have a tiny tripod for this, which I really ought to do, um, and the DJI lav mic kit which is this very well considered little device. It's like a, it's like AirPods, right? It's like a charging case and you have a little receiver and two mics in it and I'm wearing one now. And I'm realizing that's ideal for this kind of situation because it localizes the, the sound on me instead of this loud ass room. And I probably should have been using it all weekend, at least all day yesterday, figuring out what of all the gear to use and using it and doing all that while running around from event to event is uh, that's that's proving the challenge you know because I'm here to do the magic stuff not I'm not here to vlog I'm doing the vlog because I enjoy it and because you want to see it but keeping a handle on everything is the that's the challenge you know I sort of I wake up in the morning and I'm like all right this is how I want to structure I want to try and go into today's vlog with an idea and that typically falls apart <laughs> but anyway it's 10 30 and we have our sealed event in half an hour so we'll see how it goes I don't even know if I'm framed well I just looked at that footage and I learned two things one I'm framed okay It'd be better if I could see the camera two uh, yeah, I should definitely should have been using this already because the sound is so much better. It just means you won't hear like other stuff as easily, but it'll probably be fine. Hey, let's go over analyzing again. Actually, in the interest of experimentation, mm -hmm. if I have the, the lab on me, yeah, and I'm talking, and you talk, I don't know what it sounds. Like. I don't know either, but I'm excited to find out. Find out and post. We post. That's where we fix things. Yeah. Aw, oh, shit. That's where you fix things. No. Me, I'm not involved. You climb up on the dinosaur yet? No, I have not climbed up on the dinosaur yet. I climbed up on the dinosaur. Nice. It's a surprisingly uncomfortable saddle. It does not shock me. <laughs> yeah. Morning, Wheeler. How's it going? Oh, you know, I woke up at 9.30 and my body's like, ha ha, idiot, it's 6.30. And then I went back to bed. Fair. I'm doing all right. I'm full of meat. Ben and I had a real meaty sandwich for breakfast. That's gonna bode really well for sitting down and playing cards all day. For this morning's event, all four of us are in the same thing. Ah, 41, I'm right here. Let's go. Oh, nice. Awesome. However, Perfect. I need to get John Avon to sign Sapling and Palpinor because that is the deck I most associate with you. Oh, thank you. That's the only deck I brought this weekend. Lovely. I don't have it as a commander deck, but... Mm. More of that strange oil. It's probably nothing. Bomb is in white, so we're playing white. 
and then red went well with it. Well, we'll see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> James, how'd you end up? Uh, wh white, green, red. That's three colors. Yeah, well, I mean, the red's just for two volt charges. Do you splash two volt charges? I don't know. I don't, Probably. I don't play this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I opened scared. a very medium pool, but I have White Sun's Twilight. So I'm like, all right, I'm playing all my white, and I'm just... Any other color could have paired with it to make very different decks. I could have I could have made any two colors that I wanted with white and. Damn. Um, and I ended up in red-white with very low curve and a lot of removal. Yeah, so like I'm primarily white-green. I was told to just throw away blue cards, so I just I did that immediately. Hopefully there wasn't anything good there. Blue's not actually bad. I, I, that's what I assume, but uh, you know, <clears throat> lulls. Uh, but I think it's okay. I have a lot of two drops. That's good, right? Yes, that is very good. All right, thank God. Two yeah. drops it is. Sweet, all right, let's get some land. Is anybody opening Rebels you don't need or want? <laughs> awesome, thank you. Cheers, appreciate it. Sure. Round one, update. I won that very, very, very quickly. My opponent didn't really get their feet under them, and um, I played a lot of low-cost creatures and had removal. So, I mean, that's what we wanted the deck to do, so that's what we did. Now I have enough time to go and preposterously overpay for a bottle of water. Let's find out by how much. The answer is, I can't even overpay for water, because they don't open the thing until two. It doesn't make a lick of sense to me, but if they told me where one was open, so I'm going there. You want to talk about commitment to cosplay? That is, that's a big commitment. Thanks so much, guys. I gotta, I gotta get Guru Dunkin' Donuts. I is, gave it to him yesterday, and he's, a, he's obsessed now. All right, I gotta ask you about this then. Is Dunkin' like any good? It's aggressively mediocre, but they will give it to you in the largest size possible. America! Went to a place in the Reading Terminal Market, and it goes up to 24. Oh, uh, Dunkin' is 32. That's America! Oh. It will be bad, but we'll give you a lot of it. <laughs> Hi, Serge! I'm sorry, the coffee here's bad, but I love you. $10, by the way, was the damage. $10 for an iced tea and a water. I gotta stop buying stuff at the convention center. You know how much a bottle of water is at the Trader Joe's a block away? 17 cents. It's me, I'm Bobo the Fool. Usually I ask people if they're sure they want me to deface their very powerful, expensive legacy staples. Uh, but then some people are extremely confident of like, oh, hell yeah, do this. And uh, that's great. So yeah, LED baby. You're signing an LED, a Time Stop, a Mox Opal, and a Gaia's Cradle? Sure am. Canadian gold, we call this. <laughs> All right, time for round two. Who we up against? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. look very closely in this shot, you can see James. Thanks for playing. All right, well, I beat Ben. So that's round two. We think this is only going for three rounds, but we're honestly not sure. There's a lot of people playing. The chances of Ben and I getting paired up is statistically improbable, but then this is a weird event because like 16 matches went to a draw in Phyrexia? Sealed. Sealed, I guess. I guess that's the problem. Anyway, hopefully uh, James wins his match and then James and I play in the third round. Like, no, that's not actually my hope. I get to play against them all the time. 
So anyway, Ben and Wheeler dropped, and they've gone off to play Commander, and uh, we'll see how James does when he's done his round. The update is that James is also 2-0, so, you know, maybe we'll get paired against one another in this sea of people. I am so much better at playing this game in paper, I find, and not on camera. I should play more of like that. <laughs> I agree. One year I went to MAGFest and they were sharing the convention center with some sort of adult prom. So you had like anime cosplayers and people in just fantastic gowns sharing the elevators. And the first year I was at PAX South, they were sharing that convention center with a, a wedding fair. MagicCon is sharing the Philadelphia convention center with a gymnastics cheerleading competition, it seems like. So there's a bunch of children, like it's clearly a youth oriented competition. And so in the magic areas, it's all just magic players, but in the public zones of the convention center, it's a, quite a culture clash, which is really amusing. A couple of the gymnasts' parents came over to these windows to look down on all of the folks out there in the command zone going, and, and, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, what, what are they doing down there? I can't tell what it is that they're doing. I've never heard of magic, Con. What are they doing down there? I don't know. I thought it was funny. Maybe I should go over to where they're at and be like, what's the gymnastics? I don't know why I do that accent, though. Final update on the sealed event. I went 3-0. So I get bonus tickets, which is nice. So, yeah. Sealed is a slower format. Unless you're in just Boros aggro with a whole bunch of removal and cheap creatures and combat tricks. In which case, if you're trying to, you know, do the thing the set wants you to do, like poison people, you can just sort of uh, jam on past them. I mean, that's also what the set wants you to do. For Mirrodin. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to go get some food because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten since that um, massive meat witch that Ben and I had this morning. So I got to head back to the hotel to get my battery bank because it turns out filming all day a uh, bit of a drain on the old battery. I don't know why I felt like you needed to know that information, but I'm just gonna keep saying stuff. People for the steeple. warm outside so I'm gonna try and get into the convention center at an earlier door than I would otherwise by following some gymnasts red stage, I think. At least that's where the others are. We're on our way over, that's Mr. Bevers, by the way. We're on our way over to the Gavin Verhe Unknown event. Some people seem to know about what it is, because there was one yesterday, but I have specifically requested that no one tell me. And I'm looking forward to finding out what in the dang ass heck is, is this. 
Let's all find out together. Actually, you probably know by now. You probably found out weeks ago. Column F18, column F24, F29, and F30. You will find blue tape there. No, they're not using the app. Huh? They're not using the app. Oh. They're only using posted pairings. Because there's something... They said they said Gavin's added some special sauce. Ah, okay. I still well, this have is very, you know, nostalgic. Yeah, this is this is yeah. old school. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get to it sooner if you all cram in. Yeah. So I first downloaded the app yesterday. It's great. And now this event is like, no, we're not using the app. This takes me back to the old GPs. I've been using the companion app for less than 24 hours, and now I look at posted GPs on a pillar, and I'm like, I can't believe we used to live like this. You guys can probably all find it in a row. Yes. I'm here for the the unknown Gavin oh, event. Oh, it's time to get into the unknown. Yeah. Yes. Now I know Gavin very well at this point, but I don't know what this event is. And some people have said, oh, did you not see anything that happened yesterday? And I went, no, and don't tell me. Perfect. That's what I like to see, right? I knew by doing two of them, the information would be out yeah. there, but people who wanted to not know would preserve it. So it is special, Are something you... I just cooked up for this event, and okay. I cannot wait for you to check it out. Awesome. I right. think the Loading Ready Run crew and fans are going to really enjoy oh, I'm it. I'm stoked for it. Are you going to be explaining it yourself? Oh, yeah. I'll be up here on stage as soon as everyone gets their seats explaining the whole deal. It's going to be quite exciting. Excellent. This is, uh, for better or worse, The Gavin Show. So let's make it happen. <laughs> Good evening, Natcon, Philadelphia. I'm Gavin Vernon from Wizards of the Coast. How are you all doing? So excited to have you all here for the unknown event. We have a whopping 340 of you playing in this event. First, you all came out to this event and it is benefiting Black Girls Code, which is an incredible organization. Yeah. So as you might have heard, we're in the middle of a battle. The Mirans versus the Phyrexians. I've been waging on a bunch, I've seen it in Phyrexia, all of you won. Well, we're going to reenact a bit of that today. Each of you is going to get a team, you're going to be either on Team Mirren or Team Phyrexia. we got a scoreboard right here, cue the scoreboard please, and you will be accumulating points for your team as you play today. Mirren, are you ready? Yeah. Phyrexia, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, can't wait to find out what this is. My opponent just resolved a playtest card, the Sword of Blank and Blank, which means they get to roll on a sheet that Gavin gave them for all the previous swords. So it's the sword of one thing and the other thing. It gets the first right. ability of the first sword and the second ability of the second sword. All right, so it's the sword of... The sword of one body and home. The sword of body and home. If the sword connects, makes a wolf, searches for a basic. Okay, not milling half my library, so you know, we're all right. dropping bags and nonsense off before heading out for food. So, I don't know why I'm telling you that. We came in here because the place was called Barbecue Szechuan Music Restaurant, and that has borne out. I mean, to be fair, we came in here because we asked, can you seat eight people? And they said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> no. 
Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the funniest part about the fact that they played Cruel Angel's thesis at the barbecue music restaurant, as they called it, is that we started getting really into it, and then afterwards they turned the music down. So. Whoops, I guess. Thank you.